Hi everyone, I'm Ming Cong from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I'm glad to introduce our work on the real-time scheduling for GPU accelerated DNA inferencing. This is a joint work with my colleague Han Zhe and my advisors Rong and Hai Bo. As we all know, deep neural networks or DNNs have been widely adopted by modern intelligent applications, such as autonomous vehicles and virtual reality. Typically, these intelligent systems may use many DNNs for different functions. Let's take autonomous vehicle as an example. Modern autonomous vehicles use DNNs to recognize obstacles. Meanwhile, it also uses deep DNNs to monitor human driver's emotion and fatigue. These two kinds of DNA inference tasks have different timing requirements. The obstacle detection task is latency critical. The execution delay of such task may cause safety issue, so we call it real-time task in this work. While the fatigue detection task has no hard real-time requirement, so we call it best effort task. To achieve a stable and low latency for real-time tasks, these intelligent systems may dedicate a whole GPU to only execute real-time tasks and use another GPU for best effort tasks. Although such deployments can fulfill the low latency demand for real-time tasks, it also has a low resource utilization and a high cost. To improve the resource utilization and reduce the cost, a possible solution is to use a single GPU for both tasks. But the question is that, could it still meet the low latency demands for real-time tasks? That is what we are interested in, in this work. To help understand the problem, we first introduce how DNA inference tasks are executed in the GPU. In general, an inference task contains a list of GPU kernels. Each kernel has a group of thread blocks. The kernels will be launched sequentially on the GPU, and each block will be executed by a compute unit. We assume all the models have been loaded into the GPU memory in advance. Next, I'll see how the existing GPU scheduling approaches work for DNA inferences. Consider we have three inference tasks from different DNA models and arrive at different times. The most naive approach is to execute the inference task sequentially. Consider the DE task in red arrived at first, and the kernels are immediately launched to the GPU. During the execution of the BE task, the RT task in blue arrives. However, since such scheduling approach sequentially lacks kernels, the ta RT task has to wait for the completion of the BE task. In other words, such approach is now preemptive. Then the BE task, the second BE task in a green arrives. It also has to wait for the completion of the red task. Finally, the red task completes and the blue task can be launched now. Now we can see, because such approach is non-preemptive, the end-to-end -end latency of the real-time task may be doubled due to waiting for the completion of the running BE task. What's worse, because this approach only executes one task at a time. In other words, it doesn't allow concurrent execution. Some computing resources might be wasted, resulting in a low throughput. To reduce the end-to-end -end latency for RT tasks, Previous research proposes block-level preemption scheme to implement preemptive scheduling on the GPU. When the RT task arrives, it doesn't need to wait for the completion of the whole running task, but only wait for the completion of the running blocks. Therefore, its preemption latency would depend on which block and how many tasks are currently running on the GPU. We observe that the preemption latency of such approach would increase to several milliseconds when there are concurrent BE tasks running on the GPU. For example, when there are eight concurrent running tasks, the preemption will take three milliseconds, while the inference itself only takes four milliseconds. The preemption almost doubles the end to end latency of the real time task. Further, the preemptive scheduling also incurs the well known starvation problem because such approach will only execute RT task if it arrives very frequently resulting in starvation for the BE task. To avoid the starvation, a possible solution is to allow the two kinds of tasks to co-execute using concurrent GPU stream. For example, when the blue task arrives, it will co-execute with the red task. Similarly, 
the green B task would also co-execute with them. This approach can achieve a high throughput because it can fully utilize the computer resources. However, the real-time task latency would be extended due to the co-execution interference. For example, when co-execute with when co-executing with eight uh, best effort tasks, the IT task latency would increase from four milliseconds to forty milliseconds, which is not acceptable in real-time scenarios. Now we can see that these three approaches either result in high latency for real-time tasks or low throughput for best effort tasks. Therefore, it's still challenging to achieve both low latency for real-time tasks and high throughput or work conserving for best effort tasks. So in this work, we propose a new DNN inference system named RIF. RIF is designed for the two goals. First, the real-time task should be treated as first-class citizens on the GPU without interference from other tasks to achieve low latency. Second, both real-time tasks and best effort tasks should be co executed concurrently on the GPU to achieve high overall throughput and work conserving. To achieve the two conflicting goals, Rift first proposed a reset-based preemption scheme, which can be preempted concurrent BE tasks in microsecond scale. The preemption is designed based on the observation that the inference kernels are common and important, so that we can preempt the kernel by just killing it. Rift further proposes a dynamic kernel padding scheme, which can be used to concurrently execute both RT and BE tasks without performance interference. This approach is designed based on the observation that the uh, inference kernels have a deterministic and predictable execution latency. Let's first see the basic architecture of Rift. Rift consists of an offline part, which compiles and loads user-provided DNN models, and an online part, which schedules and executes the DNN inference requests. Rift maintains several FIFO queues, one for real-time tasks, and the rest for best effort task. As a scheduler, we'll pull, we'll pull the queues and the service tasks to the GPU runtime. The scheduler in Rift provides two execution modes, namely normal mode and real-time mode, depending on whether there are tasks in the RTQ. If the RTQ is empty, Rift is in the normal mode and will execute BE tasks concurrently using multiple GPU streams. If the RTQ is not empty, Rift is in the real-time mode and executes RT tasks sequentially. Rift enhances the GPU runtime by implementing a preemption module, which is used to preempt the BE tasks when switching from normal mode to real-time mode. Further, to avoid starvation of BE tasks in the real-time mode, Rift has a dynamic kernel padding module, which is used to execute both RT and BE tasks concurrently in the real-time mode. Let's use an example to show how Rift works. At the very beginning, the red task arrives, which is a BE task. The scheduler will submit the task into the GPU. And then the green task arrives. Because there is no RT task, Rift is in the normal mode, where the kernels can execute concurrently in multiple GPU streams. Soon, the blue task, which is a real-time task, arrives and Rift immediately preempt all of the running tasks using the reset-based preemption approach and switch to the real-time mode. In the real-time mode, Rift uses dynamic kernel padding scheme to concurrently execute both RT and BE tasks, but prioritize the RT task. When all of the RT tasks finish, Rift switch back, uh, switches back to the normal mode and continues the BE task. Let's summarize how Rift achieves its design goal in this example. For the low latency goal, when in the normal mode, Rift can preempt the concurrent BE task in a few microseconds and immediately launches the RT task. While in the real-time mode, Rift can avoid the interference to the RT task by allocating computing resources to RT task at first. While for the second worker serving goal, Rift allows the BE tasks to execute concurrently in the normal mode and use the leftover computing resources in the real-time mode. And the two approaches 
are the key to achieve the, to achieve the two design goals. Next, I'm going to briefly introduce the insights behind these two approaches. The design goal of the reset-based preemption is to preempt concurrent B tasks in a few microseconds when switching from normal mode to real-time mode so that the RT task can be instantly launched once it arrives. The key motivated observation is that the GPU kernels in the DNA infrastructure are mostly idempotent because they consist, they consist of almost only algebra computations without side effects. These kernels can always produce the same output with the same input, no matter it has been retried or not. Therefore, the preemption can be implemented by simply killing the running kernels and restore by re executing. However, the kernels of a DNA inference task are not only executed in the GPU, but also buffered in the GPU runtime. Therefore, the key idea of reset-based preemption is to reset the kernels in everywhere, including the queues and the compute units. Next is the second approach, dynamic kernel padding. Its design goal is to allow RT and B tasks to execute concurrently without interference to the RT task, which is used in the real-time mode to avoid starvation of B tasks and keep low latency of RT tasks. The key motivated observation is that the execution time of GPU kernels in DNA inferences is deterministic and predictable when running individually on the GPU. With the predictable latency, we can carefully choose the appropriate BE kernels to, to execute with RT kernels without interference. Therefore, the key idea of dynamic kernel padding is to dynamically pad the RT kernels with appropriate BE kernels to fully utilize the resources. For example, every time Reef starts to launch an RT kernel, it will first check whether this kernel can utilize all of the computer units. If not, it will try to pad some best effort kernels with it. The best effort kernel must have a shorter execution time than the RT kernel, so that there is no interference where we leverage latency predictability. Then, we will launch the padded kernel to the GPU and repeat that process for the next RT kernel. We first deploy Reef on an AMD GPU and use the ROCM as the GPU runtime and TVM as the model compiler. To show how we perform in, in different scenarios, we also build a new benchmark for DNA inferences in real-time scenarios named DISB. DISB uses five representative DNA models, including ResNet, Sensnet, VGG, Inception, and Disturbed. DISB consists of five workloads to simulate different scenarios. The clients in DISB are assigned with different priorities. For example, in workload A, there are two clients sending inference requests to the inference server. The one client sends real-time VGG inference, inferences with a fixed frequency. The other client sends best effort ResNet inferences with a closed loop to simulate a contention load on the GPU. While compared, compared with the A workload, the B workload increases the frequency of the RT task to 220 requests per second, which can separate our test bed. We mainly focus two metrics in DISB. First is the end to end latency for real time tasks, and the second is the overall throughput for both tasks. As we can see, Reef only incurs at most 2% latency overhead for real time tasks compared with RT only but it can improve overall throughput by up to 7.7 times compared with RT only. Well, for the B workload, where the RT client can saturate the GPU, we can still improve the throughput using dynamic kernel padding to avoid the starvation of the BE task. Finally, we also evaluate the preemption latency of Reef under DISB workloads and when preempting a single inference task. Reef can achieve a microsecond scale preemption under these workloads and preempt a single task within 40 microseconds. To shortly conclude our work, we propose a new GPU accelerated DNA inference serving system named Reef. 
Rift can achieve both low latency for real-time tasks and work conserving for best effort tasks. Rift proposes two key techniques to achieve design goal. The reset-based preemption can preempt concurrent B tasks in microsecond scale, which is, which is designed based on the, the idempotent property of the DNN kernels. And the dynamic kernel padding can achieve controlled concurrent execution based on the latency predictability property of DNN kernels. That's all. Thank you for your attention. And I would like to take any questions.